work. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. There's ghosts in those windows looking out at me. All right, good morning everybody. Chad Morrill with California Waterscapes. We are here at the Pasadena Showcase House of Design. It is actually not in Pasadena. We are in Arcadia, California. It's a beautiful day. This is actually our first vlog of the year, so thank you for joining us. And we're gonna document kind of the beginning stages of this project and also other projects we're in the middle of and finishing right now, so check it out. All right, so we have a koi pond right here, a little waterfall coming around the corner of the house. The corner of the house is right there. So as you can see the skimmer, this is the pond. Waterfall peeking around that side is gonna come around. We're gonna also have a pondless waterfall over here. So the pondless waterfall is gonna have a basin down at that end. We can have the pond dug, uh, the pondless waterfall dug and installed then the paver guys can come in and do their thing. Mauricio and Rolando are sending the electrical line over there. Building inspector coming out here to do inspection on this. You gotta be 18 inches down minimum. They're knocking that out. This afternoon we should get the pond dug out, skimmer in place, probably the biofall set up. All right, so welcome to day number two of Pasadena Showcase House of Design. We got a really good head start on the pond. We got it all dug out yesterday. We got the plumbing in, we got the skimmer and the biofalls in. We're basically doing some fine tuning around the outside, setting in the drains for the rainwater harvest. We also passed inspection for electrical, so we're able to backfill all those trenches. So we're making good progress. Come over here and we'll show you kind of what we're doing with the pond. So we opened it up a little wider because we're going to use some pretty big boulders in here and once we put the boulders in it's going to kind of shrink the pond up so Chewy and Mauricio are kind of doing the fine tuning on that. We got our drain running across from the downspout that's going to be up here. We're going to actually take all the water from the pond that overflows once you get a rain and the downspout from that pipe. They're gonna run into a four inch pipe that runs over here. It's actually gonna run all the way over into the basin of our pondless waterfall. So every time it rains, we're gonna be able to capture that extra water into the pondless vault for our pondless waterfall. If that ever overflows, we're gonna actually have a drain pipe that goes underneath the pathway and into the planter area, which we're gonna have a big kind of uh, dry river bed that bleeds right into the lawn and to the, all the shrubs down below. All right, here we are. As you can see, the pond is in. It's looking pretty cool. I've got all the major rocks in there. What we're here to look at today, though, is the rainwater harvesting system is in. They got the basin down in there with all the aqua blocks, and you can see the pump vault is down there as well, too. So the other cool part of this system is this is an actual rainwater harvesting system. This basin is way bigger than I would normally make it. There are six aqua blocks down in this thing and a pump vault. If we were doing a normal five or eight foot little pondless waterfall, I'd probably have two of the aqua blocks in here. So we have an additional, a lot of square footage in here to capture water. So we're gonna have our pump down at the bottom. It's gonna always be circulating, but we're gonna have this big void in here. And what we have is this. So this is the drain coming from over there that's gonna actually catch the, the groundwater that hits the patio. The downspouts are going into the drain over here and the overflow for the pond. Any water that goes into the pond and then it reaches its maximum fill height, it's gonna go into an overflow pipe, come into this, and we're gonna capture all this water in this basin. If it ever gets to the top point, we're gonna put another pipe going out the top here and that's gonna go off into the dry river bed that then bleeds into the garden and the lawn down below. So we're really capturing all this water. We're gonna hold it here. If it ever maxes out, we're gonna send it down here into the lawn and use it that way. When 
when you see this thing come together, it's just gonna look amazing. We're out of here, enough of me talking, bye. to get you guys caught up on some projects that we're working on. We're actually in Glendora, California right now, starting on a new Palmas waterfall. So feel free, comment down below, ask questions, like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. So let's check out this one right now, see how it's going. George and Mauricio are building a little ramp here so we can get all our materials, gotta come through that door right here. So it's pretty vital that we get this project going before they put the doors in, obviously, because we're gonna be bringing in some big rock and boulders We've got the aqua blocks going in here so we have the palmless waterfall is going to basically end in this spot you can see it kind of painted out on the ground this is going to be our vault we got waterfalls coming all the way up we're going to have more waterfalls going all the way back there we got three falls coming down the hillside here which is going to be pretty cool chewy's already running the plumbing All right, so we are uh, off and running over there in Glendora. I am here in Arcadia now, checking out the Pasadena Showcase House of Design. We've been doing this for about 20 years. We get about 30,000 designers and architects that come through our space and see our stuff. So we do it for exposure and we also do it for a charity. It's for inner city kids, um, exposing them to the arts and music and cool stuff like that. So it's always fun to give back, especially when we're doing it with water features and um, outdoor living spaces, so check this place out. When you come into this space, you're gonna be coming in from the veranda, the front door's right from your vantage point there. So as you come out above the pool, you know, it's very sunny down here. You're gonna be able to come here and get away from all the noise. We're gonna have a lounge set right here. Um, big couch sofa on this side. So obviously the idea is to make this Ipe cantilever deck right here. It's gonna line up with the pathways there. So as you walk over this, it's gonna feel like this water does go under here, but as you can see, it does not. Okay, so we got a little flu bug going around right now, which everybody knows. So we are currently uh, on hold with Pasadena Showcase House of Design. I think they're targeting for June 7th to have this baby open, uh, not mid-May or whenever it was. Uh, we are gonna probably be kind of heading out here and focusing on the jobs in Glendora and some other projects because this one's all set up now. Uh, and then we're gonna keep it running over the next couple weeks and uh, we'll come back here and check on this one when it's getting landscaped. Okay, so we're now in Burbank. The guys are off and running out in Glendora. Showcase is kind of on ice for a moment right now. We're gonna go inside and see this pond. It's basically a turtle pond that we finished a year ago, almost to the day, and it's, uh, I haven't seen it in a long time. So it's been winter time and raining and stuff, so let's go inside and check it out. They're outside enjoying the afternoon. Hello, hi. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wow, look at the plants. They look amazing out here. It looks so awesome. Perfect. Everything's growing in beautifully. Oh, yeah, they're doing a great job. Beautiful. So you got some fish in there now, I can see. and You can see uh, the two, two of your turtles. Yeah. The one to the right was the darker one was the one you brought up. Yeah. Start yeah. With. Down lower, you can see one into Rio Grande uh, sliders. Oh. You see it's, it's done on the knees. Like I said, that's two of the seven we have. Seven turtles in here. Wow. wow. Do you think it's all, they got enough elbow room, flipper so. space for all of them? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, tell me, I mean, you've had this pond for about a year. How do you like it? We, we look at it all the time, all the time, every, every day, all day. Really? Yeah. Every day, all day? <laughs> well, the, the, you know, the turtles and the fish are good. It brings it out even more. But I'll tell you, and after you finished with it, we had the animal plants in, you know, at night sometimes because you got the lights in it. Yeah, yeah. You know, we'd come in and just sit a couple chairs and just sit 
and, and watch the turtles and what they do and the fish and just sort of enjoy it. You know, they talk about people uh, soothingly look at their aquariums yeah. inside. Yeah. So we do the same thing out here, just sit awesome. and watch. Awesome. Yeah. Peaceful. No, that's great. It's relaxing. The sound is great. Good. Yeah, awesome. We're, we're real happy. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it and you enjoy it every day. That's even yeah. better. And. Uh, Oh, was it money worth well spent? Oh, well, no, yeah, you know, yeah. let's not talk money. Oh, okay. All right. Absolutely. Yeah, very good. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. <laughs> we don't regret it. She anymore. likes talking money. You <laughs> don't want to talk money. <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole space back no, here is good, awesome. It was a good investment. Yeah. Sure. We enjoy it every day. We love it. We love it a lot. All right. Thank you. So how many turtles do you have in, in total around this house? Oh, brother, 19. <laughs> 19 turtles, all right, that was awesome. Yeah, tortoises. tortoises and turtles. Tortoises and Correct. turtles, yes. Yeah, we've done some yeah. inspecting of those, but that's really yeah. cool. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad I kept the turtle experts happy with this turtle pond yeah. here. I can see turtles watching us right now. Yeah, there. There's a so, bunch of them all yeah, under there. So that here they come, rusty. yeah. No, one. that's a... Uh, Rosie is, is looking out from under the, the yeah. rock. Yeah. Good, so we're just wrapping up here. We met with our turtle customer pond. It looks really awesome. We're gonna come back and make a couple little adjustments. And um, actually the neighbors are here right now. I'm going in to bring them a couple cards. They wanna get our number to do a little turtle pond over at their place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're into seeing different little backyards and ponds and turtles and animals and customers. Hit that subscribe button and follow us. Uh, we do projects all over LA. All right, thanks. Oh, thanks, sir. You got it. All right. Thanks, Probably guys. All right. All right.